Before attempting to collect a capillary sample, please remember to always follow your facility's protocol for blood collection. When collecting a capillary sample, it's important to use a blade-type lancet which is set at a depth appropriate for your patient. Using a pin lancet, like the type used with glucometers, does not provide a free-flowing drop of blood. QBC offers two types of blade lancets, a 2.3 mm depth for adults and a 1.8 mm depth for pediatric patients. Select the finger to be used and prep for collection. Wipe away the first drop of blood after puncturing the finger. Holding the star tube in a horizontal position, gently touch the inner tube to the drop of blood. Be careful not to touch the fingertip with the tube as this could introduce skin cells into the sample. Fill the tube between the two black fill lines. It is very important to fill between these two lines as overfilling or underfilling will result in a tube fill error. If this occurs, it is necessary to discard the tube and begin again. Remember to always hold the tube as close to 90 degrees as possible. This will prevent air bubbles from forming in the tube, which could potentially produce an error when the tube is analyzed. Now, tilt the tube so that the blood flows down into the area of acridine orange. Be careful to avoid contact with the white stopper, as this may make mixing the sample more difficult. Tilt the tube back and forth to mix the sample with the acridine orange. One back and forth motion equals one mix. Do this at least four times. After mixing, be sure to bring the blood back into the center of the tube before capping. This ensures the sample will not be drawn into the cap of the tube upon closing. Pull off the cap and place it on the opposite end of the tube. Push the cap and give a half twist. You now have a closed sample which is ready to be placed into the star.